Hey, while I was thinking about it, I went and grabbed the um, OTF that I have. We'll take it apart and look at that mechanism. It's pretty simple, not much to it, but it's quite ingenious. This is, uh, it was a Cobra Tech that I ruined the top scale by trying to heat treat it, not realizing they, um, they use a cast aluminum um, on these cheaper models. So I made a new scale out on the top out of um, walnut. But anyway, so that's that. Let's take it apart. It's probably been taken apart one too many times because I've messed around with this thing quite a bit. The uh, mechanism is just really, there's not much to it. You know, people might not understand what's going on in the OTF inside of it. I uh, tried to hand it to an uncle of mine and he thought it was constantly under spring tension so he really didn't want it in his hand. Kind of like a single action where you load it and it is sprung or even a out the side Protec or something. But, um, but these, there's, I mean, you can bang them around. There's nothing, there's no spring tension whatsoever when you're not pressing the, uh, the thumb stud or the trigger, whatever you want to call it. So there is the mahogany scale and how I had to kind of route it out a um, few different ways I did it too much in certain places had to put some super glue back in to build it up anyway so that's the uh, that scale but here's the mechanism that's all there is to it so let's show you the pieces first so we can kind of get an understanding so we've got the trigger thumb stud that goes has a little hole or some sort of way to connect with this slide mechanism and there's a little stud that sticks up right there. We have a spring that I'll pop off, that the spring has these two metal angles on it. And you'll note that one of the angles is longer than the other, if you can tell there. So then we have the slide itself which is just one piece and it's just a rail. It's made to fit within the, the body of the, uh, the knife and slide back and forth. And then the other two components that are integral are the um, lock pins, which are here and here. So when the blades closed, You've got this lock pin right here that won't let it go forward. See, I'll push it forward. But then if I depress this lock pin, because it's spring, it's just a little metal bar um, with a little spring behind it. And they're really easy to pull in and out, actually. Here, I'll show you. Um, there you go. So that's it. It is literally a flat bar with a little spring behind it and that's it so we'll put that back in and they, the way I do it is I compress them both and then just put it in there and it's back in so that's our lock pin so it's keeping the blade from coming out in resting position so if we press it down the blade can slide past it and then it goes all the way up until we hit this top lock pin. There you go. See it popped out. See it again. So as I push the blade up, boom, it locks and that keeps the blade from coming back into the uh, chassis. So what moves those pins are the underside of this slide. You notice it's got this angle uh, recess or uh, rabbit, I guess, on it that is angled. And the same with the south side over here on the bottom. Those are made to, watch here, as I push the slide forward, it engages the lower uh, stop pin. Same thing for the top. You see how this top side, that recessed side underneath, same thing with the angle. It, both sides will engage 
and free up the lock pin. So if I hold it here, I can slide the blade back in or back out. So here, if it goes far enough, come on. There we go. So now we are in uh, locked out. And if we pull the slide back, it frees up that pin. Let's just slide the blade down. The spring, ang the spring direction here lets the blade go past that stop pin and holds it in. And then the reverse is true. If we press the slide up, it moves that stop pin and let's freeze the blade up to move to the outside. So that's the mechanism on how you're moving, how you're locking the blade closed and open. And all that's happening from there is you have this little tab that's coming out of the tang of the blade. So let's move the blade out. Let's take the blade all the way out. And you see right there. See how it's sticking out proud of the blade? So let's put that back in. That is going to be captured by this angle, by the bigger angle. So the short angle will go on the front and just hold on to the slide. The bottom angle will go past the slide. And basically you can also, here let me do it this way so you can see it. Um, it can go on there off of the knife. So this is how the slide, the spring goes on to the slide mechanism. And then on the underside you've got the, the longer tab over here and the shorter tab on the uh, front side. And then you can just put that down. So what will happen is back in. So as you start to push this, it's going to fly off. I'll try to do it without it flying off. But um, as you push the thumb stud forward, it pulls the the long arm of the, the little metal bar that's on the spring stays on the back of the tang of the blade. See, it's staying there. The slide is moving and you're creating spring pressure and you build that pressure up. <laughs> Sorry about that. You build that pressure up until you release that stop pin on the lower side and poof, the blade flies forward until that angled piece right here catches the stud coming out of the blade on the front side. And then that keeps it from coming all the way out is actually that, that piece right there. So, and then the reverse happens when you close it. You move the thumb stud back. The little angled piece of metal connected to the spring stays against that stud coming out of the blade. See there, I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna pull it, see it stay in there. And then let's see if I can do it. I'll just go all the way. And then once the slide engages the front lock pin, the blade will fly. So let's see if we can do it. Well, my hand <laughs> stopped on it, but let's try that again. Let's see if I can get it to engage without stopping the blade. Let's see here. Just apply a little bit of pressure. Nope. It's not going to let me do it. Um, because if I squeeze it enough to hold the spring in place, I squeeze the spring down onto the blade and it keeps it from free floating back to the bottom. But at any rate, that is how an OTF works. And um, I mean, it's an ingenious design, but it's super simple, you know? So anyway, I thought that was cool. Got any questions, just uh, ask them below in the comments.